If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. Download the Broken Games HD Android app to keep up to date with all videos and social media. So, have I said how much fun I'm having with this game? Have I really said how much fun I'm having with this beta? If I have, I don't care. I probably haven't said it enough. I am having a tremendous, amazingly fun time with this game. And some people may say, oh, you're only liking it right now because you're you're good at it or you're, or you're doing good or you're beasting right now. Listen, first of all, I beast at every game. So if that's the case, I would like every game, all right? Usually I don't brag. Yes, I do. What the hell am I talking about? I, I brag about everything. Right, I'm the Kanye West of gaming. I think every game I touch, I think my hands are like lethal weapons. I think my hands on a controller should be put in the Guinness Book of World Records because I am amazing. All right, just had to get that out. You know, every once in a again, I gotta purge my my bragging and my boasting. You know, it's just a part of who I am. I'm the best. All right, but me beasting has really nothing to do with it because even when I have my underperforming games in which I still do well I'm, I've still been vastly enjoying this game like a lot of fun with it and some people are you know have been saying oh you're just in the honeymoon phase remember what happened with Destiny yes there was the situation with Destiny where I loved it in the beta and then the game actually turned out to be complete trash. It was garbage. That won't be the situation with uh, Halo because, for one thing, we know Halo isn't going to have a whole bunch of unbalanced weapons and uh, crazy super moves with huge splash damage and hit spares. That's not going to be in Halo. All those crazy abilities like are like they are in Destiny and these unbalanced weapons and abilities. All that stuff ain't going to be in this game. Cuz even though they have added mechanics and a few new, you know, improvements and features to the game, you know those type of things aren't going to be in this game. All right? So that's one of the main things that messed up Destiny for me was just all that stupid content they put in the game which is good to have a lot of content but it's bad if you don't balance it right so that's why this is not going to be the same situation as destiny because even in the beta that I, I never felt like destiny was a competitive you know game this is still competitive it's not as competitive as the past halos no doubt nobody's de debating that necessarily right I've, I've already said that i feel like the overall um, skill roof or the learning curve is lowered. But regardless, it's not going to be the same situation what happened with Destiny. Destiny was just straight trash. All right. But man, what I've been doing to people in this game, I, I think they might have to ban me. I, I've been, I've been having my game genie codes on, dog. My game, I activated my inner game genie codes. Like you know, I, I, I pressed. I, I went old school. I press L1, left, right, B, uh, A, A, R1, R1, square, up. Throwbacks. A lot of y'all probably don't even know, but some of y'all little cheering probably wasn't even alive when we actually had uh, button uh, input cheats. Y'all a bunch of youngins. A lot of y'all don't even know about that. That probably watched my channel. Y'all like, what is he talking about? Codes? What, like... What 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 do what do those buttons do? A little youngins, y'all don't know nothing about that. Little youngins. Um, but son, this game, this game. And no, it's not me jumping on the Halo bandwagon or something or something suddenly starting to like Halo. Cause like I said, I told y'all my history with Halo. I always thought it was you know a fun game. It was decent. I was never crazy or hardcore into it. But, you know, I played all of them, played, uh, you know, it locally with my friends and everything like that. So it's not me jumping on a bandwagon, especially since, you know, I'm not just I feel like jumping on a bandwagon is just aligning yourself with the popular opinion, because that's the hot thing at the time that everybody else is doing. I'm not liking this game because everybody else is liking it or it's the cool thing to do. I'm liking this game because I like this game. I don't got no time to like games because they're cool. If that's the case, I would love Destiny because Destiny was extremely popular, it still is. 
Like, it's ridiculous. Like, look how much that game sold, right? Look how many people are still playing that game. But Be before Call of Duty came out, it was the most po uh, most streamed game um, ever. There's still millions of players on it every day, wasting unlimited hours. So if it was really about jumping on the bandwagon, I would still be playing Destiny. I got no interest in being on bandwagons. I play what's fun to me, and that's what I care about. Just having me some good old fun. And my thirst for some good old multiplayer is being, you know, temporarily quenched by this beta. You know, it can't fulfill my thirst because it's just a beta, but it's, it's, I'm, my body is ready. I'm warming up. Warming up. 2015 gonna be a, it's gonna be a good year. I'm doing the, I'm doing the Birdman rub right now. Doing the Birdman rub. But, um, yeah, and I honestly, right now, I don't have a lot of friends on uh, Xbox Live. I do have some um, pending friends requests that I actually do need to answer. So I'm going to be accepting those. I honestly, I don't like the way Xbox handles friend requests, honestly. For one thing, it takes, believe it or not, the process in actually accepting one friend at a time is actually a little bit longer than PSN because for unless I'm mistaken and I'm pretty sure I'm not you actually have to like click on the person and then go it and then you know go kind of go into their profile and then click accept friends invite or add friend and it takes a while to get in and out of that and then move on to the next friend um, you know both processes suck to me both are slow and suck and are not convenient they need to fix them right but PSN is like slightly faster in which, you know, you just have the list, click on the name, accept friend, click on the next name, accept friend. With this one, you know, it's not so fast, but they both suck. And it, it's, uh, both of them are annoying. And I don't like the follow system, the whole thing where people can be on your friends list and uh, people can just follow you. They don't have to be on your friends list, but they know what you're doing and all of this. I don't like that follow crap. I, I don't like it. I don't know why they put that in there. Me, I, I don't like it. Some people think it's good, I don't. Um, I just want strictly, you know, a simple friends list, not all this added stuff. And I, I honestly don't like the Xbox One dashboard in regards to its convenience because I feel like you have to click too many things to get to what you to get to where you want. The the layout and the aesthetics of how it looks is is great. But I don't like that you have to click this, click this, and then click this to get to, to the thing. It's like too many layers, you know? That I don't I don't like that about it. So, you know, and as far as its integration into the gaming, you know, uh, if you need to go into the menu and, and do something, you know, go into the dashboard and do something, I just feel it's inconvenient. But that's just, you know, something, you know, a little small thing I'm complaining about. Um, I just I just want these things to be smooth transitions, you know, as far as PSN and Xbox Live goes. I just wish they were smoother, you know, um, so I wouldn't have to sit there all day taking forever to accept friend invites or whatever. But uh, yeah, if you haven't added me on Xbox One um, and you have one, add me. It's Broken Games HD. And for the rest of y'all, you know, who are just in denial and still holding on to this whole fanboy thing y'all holding on and don't want to get an xbox one simply because it's an xbox one y'all are dumb i'm just saying if you if there's good games for something as i've said i don't care what it is if if it's a toaster and it has a good game that i want i'm getting that toaster you know some of y'all holding on to this whole console war and selling yourself short as gamers and i just think that's ridiculous so um Y'all need to stop playing around and get y'all some Xbox Ones. Y'all should have got one already when the thing was like they was practically giving them away free. And y'all and y'all still don't got Xbox Ones. When y'all know there's good games coming out for the Xbox One this year, y'all are tripping. I went off in that game. I was beast in that game. My lord, good god. Yeah, y'all should have been got an Xbox One. Y'all better y'all better get on it, son. If not, then y'all better get at the end of this year. Y'all better get on, son. Y'all tripping. I'm going to be having the best year as a gamer in 2015 with my Xbox One and PS4. And P P uh, PC, of course. And possibly even Wii U. So, yeah. Stop playing yourselves. Get on this Xbox One.